Let's consider the case of Aileen Wornos. She was a serial killer who killed seven men in Florida in 1989 and 1990. She was famously portrayed by Charlize Theron in the movie Monster. Here's a picture of Charlize. Um, Charlize uh, won the Academy Award for Best Actress uh, for her portrayal. Uh, the facts of the case, very briefly, um, she was a street prostitute who, at the age of 33, uh, started killing men. The first was in November of 1989. The next was in May. She killed three men in May of 1990. Um, and then a couple more that summer, and then the last one in November of 1990. So over the course of a year, she killed uh, seven men. All of them were shot several times. One of the special considerations in her case is that she claims the first man raped her and she killed him in self-defense. Uh, she later claimed that all seven raped her, but um, she didn't stick to that story. Just before her execution, she refused to repeat that and got angry when asked. But she did say that the first man raped her and she killed him in self-defense. Another aspect of her case is that she had, by any standards, a horrible childhood. Um, her mother married her father at age 14. Her father was a child molester who spent his life in and out in prison. He hanged himself in prison. Her mother abandoned her when Eileen was 14, uh, leaving her and her brother to live with her grandparents. Eileen had uh, a lot of sexual partners from a very young age, um, including her own brother. Uh, she had a baby at 13, which was given up for adoption. She claimed uh, when she had the baby at 13 that she'd been raped. At age 15, she was rendered homeless when her parents threw her out and she became a prostitute. Another factor I look at when considering someone's uh, crime is if they had previous offenses, which she certainly did between the ages 15 and 33 when uh, she started killing people. She was arrested across various times for drunk driving, disorderly contact, conduct, firing a gun from a moving car, assault, another case of assault, disturbance of the peace, armed robbery of a convenience store, forged checks, grand theft auto, and resisting arrest. Another factor is, as you can see in the interview with Nick Broomfield, it's a very good video. I put the link here in the um, description. In the interview, you can see she's clearly insane. Uh, she thought she was being bombarded by sonic waves, so they, she wouldn't think or write the truth. Uh, the police and the authorities didn't want her to say the truth. She said the cops knew she was a murderer, did, but didn't pick her up. They wanted her to be a serial killer to advance their own careers and also to clean the street of rapists. Je, uh, Governor Jeb Bush ordered three interviews, three separate interviews, to see if she would qualify for the insanity defense. And the insanity defense basically is um, if they can prove that the person knows they're going to be killed and knows they committed a crime, then they can't use the insanity defense in Florida. And she certainly knew she was going to be killed, and she certainly knew she was going to commit a crime. And we can discuss the insanity defense in another place. She's clearly insane, but under the legal definition, um, she was not eligible for the insanity defense. Another factor for me is the fact that um, she accepted it to some extent. She petitioned the Florida Supreme Court for the right to fire her legal counsel in 2001 and stop all appeals. And she said, according to Wikipedia, she said, I killed those men, robbed them as cold as ice. I'd do it again, too. There's no chance in keeping me alive or anything because I'd kill again. I have hate crawling through my system. I am so sick of hearing this she's crazy stuff. I've been evaluated so many times. I'm competent, sane, and I'm telling the truth. I'm one who seriously hates human life and would kill again. Anyone who could say that when faced with execution, that's a factor in, in my, uh, my assessment of whether or not she should have been executed. So my question is, uh, if you were Governor Jeb Bush, would you have pardoned her? Do you think she should have been executed? Given all the factors in her case, do you think she should have been executed? Please leave a comment with your answer. I'd love to hear your opinion. Thank you.